Hi and welcome to this next episode of 3 Minute Histology with Jamie Chapman. Today we're going to be looking at a histological section of the body of the stomach, which you can see here. So let's begin our 3 minutes. So the first thing you can see in this section are these folds. These are non-permanent folds of both the mucosa and the submucosa, which are called rugae in the stomach. And these can actually enable the stomach to expand when a meal is being accommodated. We can tell it's the body of the stomach if we have a look at a, a little bit higher magnification of these um, uh, mucosa here. The first thing that you'll see is there's only, actually only little depressions, only about 10 to 20 percent of the entire mucosal depth is made up of these depressions here. And these depressions are the gastric pits. Now, emptying into each of these gastric pits are several gastric glands. Now, all of this tissue here, all of this tissue is glandular tissue. You can, very difficult to see the lamina propria, loose connective tissue in between. You can sort of make out some of these elongated cells here. The other take home feature from this magnification is you can generally tell that this top part of the glands are very acidophilic, very pink staining. And that's because of a higher concentration of a specific cell type called parietal cells in the apical portion of these gastric glands. Whereas the basal part of these glands is more basophilic or more sort of purpley bluey stained. And that's because of the higher concentration of chief cells which are found in the base of the gastric glands. If we zoom in, what we can see is this surface uh, simple columnar epithelium. And these are lined by what are called surface mucus cells, and they secrete a protective mucus, some of which you can actually see here. Going down into the glands, we find a number of different cell types. We can find mucus neck cells, which are sort of the equivalent of the surface mucus cells, and they secrete a protective mucus. These very acidophilic cells with the round nucleus very centrally located, giving these cells what are sometimes described as a fried egg appearance. These are our parietal cells. And they have lots of membranes and they can actually secrete hydrogen and chloride ions, which is then combined to form hydrochloric acid in the uh, gastric content and the gastric lumen. If we scale down, these larger cells with the basally located round nucleus, these are our chief cells. And they're responsible for secreting the uh, protease uh, pepsinogen, which is converted to the active form pepsin in the lumen when it comes into contact with the hydrochloric acid. The other cell type which is found within the gastric glands are the enteroendocrine cells, such as G cells, which secrete hormones such as gastrin. And they release the secretion into the surrounding bloodstream, and that stimulates further secretion by the parietal cells. So they're not always that easily uh, visualized with light microscopy. If we zoom out a little bit, you can see the muscularis mucosa, the submucosa here, then the muscularis, and if we follow along, we can probably see evidence of a serosa. So that's our three minutes looking at the body of the stomach. Thanks for listening.